Friends, good morning. How's everybody doing? Hey, everybody okay? Let's do this. Let's, let's just raise you up. How we like to raise each other up. There we go. I like that. Here comes our other groundman today. We call him Flash. I'll tell you why in a minute. This guy is a character. I really like this kid's spirit. He's a good man. And I'll ask him if he wants to tell you about his story. This is crazy. This is, this is crazy. I'm gonna swap bars out. So this is my, my favorite 200T, friends. I've had it for I don't even know how many years. Could be 10. I probably is 10, I don't know. But I wanna tell you something. This is off. It's a cutter, friends. It's a cutter. I, I love this power saw. Um, they're all great. All my 200s are. But I'm swapping the bar back out because I had Donnie Walker fix the top mount. Right? Yeah. So we're just going to swap out. Bucken's got a pretty, pretty, pretty bigger climb today for me. A little more work. I'll be hanging off my, my belt a little more, I think, now that I'm old. And uh, I, I used to not do that. I used to just stay on the picks and just do the work on the picks, which is not smart for me anymore. So, uh, yeah, that's all. But uh, it's a good day for it. Nice day for golf. Friends, so you remember Flash? Well, I call him Flash, and there's a good reason for it. Uh, how you doing this morning, buddy? Good, good. good. How are you doing? I'm good. This, so you went to school at Hogan, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, at Cedar, all through uh, kindergarten to uh, grade 12. So this fella, he's, well, he's lucky to be here. Hey, Sonny? I don't have one, no. Okay, we got stairs. Uh, uh, I, I want to take a second. I want to introduce you to this guy. He comes to work with us once in a while. Now, you're starting up your own paint company, aren't you? Yeah. I New love View Painting. <laughs> you Painting. New View Painting. New View Painting. Yeah, that's the name. Look at him. I mean, he's good looking, big strapping young man. I mean, we don't know about his shirt. We're trying to figure out this. <laughs> a few moments later. I kid them. Uh, but anyways, friends, he, he had a little situation. Uh, Got to be coming up two years. No, like a year and a half. A year yeah, and a half. Yeah, a little bit less than that. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm going to let him tell you about it. I'm just going to slide this back. This man is lucky to be around. And I, I like guys like this because he's just, he's got a great spirit. Uh, Flash, talk to these folks. All right. So it's hard to really tell you the story since I uh, don't even remember anything about it. But uh, that's true. You don't do So you? yeah, no, nothing at all. But um, just like from other people's perspectives, the last thing I remember, I was uh, eating hot peppers with my buddy Nash and his girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, next thing I know, I'm climbing up this power tower. The ones at like Nanaimo Lakes River. Transmission. The transmission the tower, ones, like friends. the big ones, yeah. So I got up to about 60 feet in line with the first power line. And I'm going to interject because yeah. the, a couple important things on that day was there was mist in the air, wasn't there? Oh, it? yeah, yeah. So it was it was raining. It, it was, was a, raining. Yeah. Very so, important. Yeah, so it was really misty, raining out, and um, so I was I was wet. I was soaked. So then uh, when I was close to the power line, um, got a little too close and then it arced and went, whoosh, sent a lightning bolt at me and uh, and that's it. That's I, <laughs> then I tumbled, I fell uh, 60 feet, hit three bars on the way down. Uh, the hydro guy said I probably took around 90,000 volts and uh, the mist saved my life because all the electricity just went around my body. Gave me second and third degree burns, but the mist saved your life. The mist, yeah. And like, also the same wet. thing that bit you. What bit me? Well, the, like water's a re really, uh, a conductor. Yeah, so in a like, sense too. So it actually isn't it partly the reason why it shocked you too. Oh yeah, it's the reason why because it's like the mist that like it travels through the mist. Yes, the, and it also saved me too because See, it didn't, didn't go into my that. skin. I didn't yeah. know that. If I wasn't covered in mist and soaking wet, it would have gone through my blood and boiled my blood, but... Well, I did not didn't. know that, dude. Yeah, it's a little like a catch-22. So right? it, it was the thing that bit you and the same, the same thing that saved you. Yeah. That's crazy. It is crazy. So, yeah. friends, he went down. Hogan told me about it. He went down and... He cracked, like, the, I'm talking the transmission lines for the big, huge steel, 
structures, right? He bent one of the freaking cross members. <laughs> yeah. So instead of being like this, it's like this now. I mean, dude. Right here. <laughs> so to what, what were the injuries? Um, fractured neck, uh, fractured back, broken pelvis. Oh. Um, destroyed all the ligaments in my knee. Uh, broken elbow. <laughs> Some back pain still a little bit, but... But you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm the still good. A starfish. He's a legend. You know? Yeah, I can, I'm made out of rubber, pretty much. See, in my <laughs> mind, you you are a legend, and that, and that's why I wanted you to tell. Because there's not a lot of people in life that, because let's be honest, I, I'm a realist. It's it's not the fact you, you don't say you should have been dead, because if you should have been dead, you'd have been dead. Yeah. You should have been standing right where you're standing right now, because you're standing there. But, but people maximize these stories sometimes, friends. Do you know what I mean by that? Like people, they sometimes, you know, they, they, they lay this down. Oh, I'm, I'm, I should have been. No, you shouldn't have been nothing. Because if you're standing here talking to me, this is where you should have been. I could say that many times. But because I had that, that, that close little call with death myself. Oh, yeah, I heard uh, about that. Yeah, when I hear stuff like this, friends, it connects me to the person instantly because uh, it's pretty traumatic stuff, but I mean, here he stands, you know, uh, and uh, that was quite a trip. Yeah, that was. Hospital for 25 days. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for telling us that. Yeah, no problem. So that's that's we call him we call him Flash, but that's not his name. It's Tyler. <laughs> Flash. Either way works. I like Flash. It's one of one of Hogan's friends that. that Sparky! Yeah. Sparky's good too! Yeah, yeah Sparky's good too! You know, and it, it just, I, I love it. It, it. I do, I think that's incredible. So, he's, he's oh look at that little bend in that bar. He's coming yeah, working sure. with us See, today, friends. Nice shirt. He's gonna come working with us. So, say hi to freaking Flash today, okay, friends? And know that we're working with a man that's lucky to be around, which is kind of cool. We, we all have uh, that thing. It was thing. all in the grand scheme. It was all planned. It was, wasn't it, Sonny? Yeah. He's got superpowers now. So now, today, we're going in a tree that uh, I've worked for these folks for a long time. It, it's a fir tree. Ganges was actually going to climb it. How many trees are there? But, uh, we're one fir tree and then one little I, one that's kind of off. Friends, sometimes I feel stronger than I do other yeah, times. And for some reason right I mean, now, I just physically, I feel it? like doing no, this tree. And uh, he has a hard time giving it up because he likes to do it too. But but I, I'm going to climb today. I, I'm going to climb and, and we're going to have these the manpower on the ground. And, and it's a leave debris. So we'll see you on site. So friends, another thing I want to talk about right now is uh, West Coast. What's he called? West Coast Saw. Buddy. West Coast Saw. I want to talk about this character right now for a little bit. Okay, friends? So here's a man. Here's a man. Obviously, he's in the logging community because he's taken... Sonny, use... Oh, you got it? Oh, cool. Um... He's done what I've tried to actually tell a couple fellas to do, and that's fabricate things for the everyday tree guy faller. And he's done it, and he's doing a good job. Hi, babe. Uh, so, Gordy, dude, I don't know you, but I have used a couple of your products. Uh, we're right now. Oh, it does have that little piece. Of it does, yeah. So we're just throwing these dogs on that. that uh, that's weird because mine was on the front of the dogs. I guess I'll just leave that there like that. Then. So you probably will want to change yours then. Hmm. When, well, it was like that before I did it. Oh, it was so like it that? was already like that. Oh, okay. So Interesting. Anyway, can anyone tell us what that does? What this? I guess Pull it, that off. it so, plugs this little hole there. Yours is complete. See, there's like a little hole there in the 200s. There's this little thing. Yeah, well, let's. Uh, you know who? No, Tin Man will tell us. So, anyway, friends, I, I want to talk about just, just for a second. Like, listen, if you're thinking about. Do, look at Gordy. He, I walk into Walker Saw Shop, there's a wall. Of West Coast saw stuff, the, all the bark boxes and all that stuff. So, Gordy, good on you for starters for doing that. Because you had an idea, you ran with it, and you're on the shelves now, buddy. So, good for you on that. And I like that about, about people. And this guy, even he's opened his own painting freaking company. Ganges has got uh, Cedar Tree Works. So, it, it, uh, this channel's always been about investing in yourself. It's always been about investing in yourself. I don't down and outright tell people to quit their jobs and follow their dreams. Actually, that's not true. I do. 
<laughs> but that's not right when you got a family. But at least you can get your thought process because if you want to have freedom in life and if it's raining out one day and blowing sideways and your boss is yelling at you to get up that tree or get to work because they need the money, you don't have to live that way. You can say, I'm going to sit by the, by the wood stove and drink coffee today because I'm my own man. So, uh, you know, this, what spurred this little spouting off of myself is this is this fella Gordy, because he, he ran with an idea and he's doing quite well with it. So good for you. I'm gonna try these today. Yeah, I got those pro safety ones. What would I need? Good morning, friends. There's a peaceful calm in the air right now. Um, I've worked here for these folks and their relatives. I'm just gonna give you guys a little wipe and I'll edit it out so you don't see it. Check it out. Ha! Flop wood in the garden there, probably. Yeah, right in here. So friends, here's our little situation. It's uh, it's it's tighter quarters than what you'll normally see Buck and Belly Ray and, and Hoganji's in and Flash. Don't forget about Flash. Flash is over there, he's setting up. You got a double-ended strap there. You want two straps? Or just rock your I'll, I'll rock the two in one. I should be good that, with that. Yeah. But what I got to do, Sonny, before I flop wood, is bounce out into this cedar and somehow chop some of them limbs off because they'll hook in. You know what I mean? Thank you. No, don't worry. Because I'm going up this thing. But if you want, I knocked already on the, the, front, on the front door. Yeah, I went to the front door. And nothing. So Did you okay. knock like a cop? Eh? Hey? <laughs> no, I'm making a cop. <laughs> bang, bang. No, I didn't. Oh, you got your other trees. Oh, there's two oh, trees. Right. Hang on here. Buckin's got a... Oh, you want your... Take the rigging roof up? Or I'll send that Yeah, up. no, I'll, I'll take it up. And uh, that hard hat with a GoPro on it. Thanks, bud. You got your power saw? I don't, but I'd like one. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, I do. Can't even feel it there. So light. So uh, first order is this thing. Hey friends. So we're starting to climb here. Big fur. Kind of garden gnome effect here. So we got little chunks. It's a chunk out, but as you can see, things are uh, heavy, heavy in foliage. So I'm gonna get on my belt and off my picks or I'm gonna wear out fast. And I never did that unless I had rigging to do or I was working a crown tree. I would never, I, I would stand on my picks for hours. Bear Claw and I, we, we just, we didn't have the new school thought process. Bear Claw was in a tree for eight hours one day. That's not a word of lie. Four foot furs, two of them by the house, and it was an old customer of his. I had to help him out of the tree when he got to the bottom. Literally, he was shaking his knees. He stood on his picks for eight hours. I've done it myself, and it's a skinny kid did one like that too, in a cottonwood in Cinnabar Valley. <laughs> I've got footage of that stuff. Anyway. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this stuff as we go and uh, flop it down. I thought it might be nice to run this little saw, but friends, it's very, just, very it's, the limbs are too big and everything. the collars are too skanky. Oh, that you, I'm just gonna send down for the 200 right now. Oh. 
that's what we gotta do. Here's another one. They're huge, these limbs are huge. But I cut inside the collar or it's not gonna work. This probably should, I should get my 020. I think I'm going to. Boy, yeah. I'm gonna get the 200 off ya. Yeah, I kinda figured so. Yeah. Okay friends, I just want to run through this scenario. Those last three big limbs that we just let fly, there was different cutting techniques for each limb, except for the first two the same, but the second one, there's all, these are big limbs. I'm just gonna run through me in the tree on the saw on those same limbs and just watch what goes down here. I hope this will help you. But did you hear the pounding? You hear that? I was just showing different ways you can clear ground, right? So I want that to come straight down here alongside of these limbs and hit in here. I could walk around the tree. Okay, see there's the top of this tree here now. I'm gonna get going over there pretty quick. Probably a normal guy would be up on his strap by now, up on his, on his belt. Yeah, see this, all these limbs, they can't go anywhere yet. I gotta go over there, but I thought I would climb to this. 
Okay, friends, so this is where I've been on my, my pick now for just strictly on my picks for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe. And now I'm at the point of the tree where I reach the top of this other one that's all tangled in and incorporated in. See, it's in our tree. Now I tie in. So I walk through limbs. So this is where I utilize my two-in-one strap, the old school two-in-one with a pressic. It's wonderful. Just watch as I go along. This is the deal. I already threw this up. I never really throw right around. I try, I'll do it again, just because I'm, I'm gonna show you. I go like this, up. See that? Right there. See that came over? My first one came better, and I'll do it again. But uh, if you throw up like that, see? Boom, there it is on a 45. You see? Now look, all your slack is taken up. You're literally a couple steps, boom. You're in, two and one's in. Now. I learned something last year and I used to take this off now and I'd have to suck up all that stuff. Well, I don't, I don't need to do that now. I'll show you what I do. I just keep climbing. Watch, I'm gonna get rid of this limb so I've got room to move. Okay, so now, I mean, here I am, right? So I just take a couple steps up. You see, pull this like this. Maybe go one more. Yeah, you see, <laughs> look now. Now I just, whoop, I pull on that and I'm in. Now I didn't do that until last year. I climbed 20 freaking years with that system and I never did that until last year on a job me and Hogan when Hogan introduced some of those new techniques to me so old guys we're never too old you never know it all and don't be afraid to incorporate stuff into your into your bowl of soup I call it the old witch's brew and you just stick it in there and you start twisting her up make your own make your own soup that's what I say let's carry on limbs are getting a little smaller this tree is kind of a large fat um kind of a not stunted that's not the right word but it is a big fur Whoop. It, it's a big fur but uh see and, and i got my second strap down there it's it's a beautiful thing actually friends be honest with you Whoop. <laughs> Friends, I've never rigged limbs, chunks, anything off of a carabiner tied on the end of a rope. I've never done it, ever, oh, okay. so. in 20 some odd years of, of doing tree work. I just, I don't trust it. But I've watched so many people do it now. My boy does it. I'm like, ah, I'm doing it. So here's the benefits. Shaklank, right? It is, it's handy. This is actually pretty handy. Look at that. Nice having that extra weight on the end of her too. Well, that's what I was just popping off about. Yeah, you can, throw, you can whip it around pretty good. Oh, yeah. You don't give I, yourself a black eye with it. Yeah, that's right. I've never done this. I've never, friends, I'm telling you, I've never done it. But I'm going to now. <laughs> I got it, boy. You got it? Yeah, go ahead to him. Hold her there. Yep. All right, let her go. 
So that might change my plan. My plan here. <laughs> See this? You see this, friends? Watch. Look at this. Way up. Boom. 45. We're getting up there now, friends. See this? Two and one. Bang. It's all about taking up the right amount of slack. See? We're literally tensioned both even here. Over and out. Okay, friends. So we're... Oh my goodness. What did he do there? Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we're high enough up this tree. I've stripped the back side of it till, as far as I can get. I can't take any of the foliage off of there until I get that tree so i just thought that i would take everything i could until i get to the point where i can now tie in hang a rigging rope and fly over to that other tree down there and go get it now so that's where we're going <laughs> so friends as you can see by this last little 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 shot here that it's a big, it's a big tree. There's a ton of foliage and that tree that is, grows over as you look at it, it grows over on the, on the left. It's coming out from underneath and it was thwarted out like this blah, for years. So it goes up quite a good sized tree and then it, it just kind of dies out because the lower canopy of that big fir that I'm in thwarts it out, I call it thwarting. And the tree just kind of gibbles up and a limb comes across and it gets real goofy. And I'll show you that as we get up there. But friends, I can't really do much more in the big tree until that's annihilated. I can't let those, I'm not going to fight those limbs through that tree. It's not going to happen. You've always got to have a hole. Tree work is about having a hole all the time for rigging. Something, you know, you can't take this one unless, you know, unless you want to rest it on it and slide it out. There's, you know, exceptions for the rule all the time. But friends, a big tree, it's a big job. We're going to break this one up. I, I, I want to share some of the stuff. I get people asking me all the time, hey, Buck, can, can you do a climbing video and show me this or show me that? So friends, this is what we're going to do. I would not feel correct to just honest, I, I say it all the time, uh, undercut, back cut, rock and roll music. You know, buddy, it, that's, not, that's not this channel. It's not, it's not what it's doing. It's about making people's lives better and improving in our skills and, and all I can do is show you what I do. I'm very old school, friends. I am. I'm, I've never, I just said in this video, I've never rigged off of a carabiner like that. It's faster, yes. You see me do the one-handed clove hitch all the time. I'm just about ropes. Ropes don't, you know, they can't really, they're not a mechanism. They're, they're, they're a one thing. That's why I've lived my whole life on one rope. You know, I would. I used to rig and rappel off the same rope, friends, 200 footer. Rig off the tail and rappel off the other. That's what we did. So I come from that. So uh, anyways, regardless, friends, we're going to do this uh, part one, part two, part three, and we're going to take you right through. I was just down there last night. She, the client, wonderful lady, uh, and Louie, they're just super nice family. She ended up in the hospital last night with some a couple things i think it was a kidney stone or something like that but just the sweetest lady so i went down last night louis 65 so i brought my axes down that one we built and and i wanted to test it remember that nice new uh, high test <laughs> with that handmade handle so we give it a run oh dear do we ever it's beautiful so there's a ton of footage coming friends your way and uh it is right now what is it? Tuesday? Is it Tuesday, babe? It is Tuesday. And I'll verify that because I believe yesterday was a month. It is. It's Tuesday the 6th, April 6th. It's my boyf day tomorrow. My boyf day. I'm going to put on a shirt and have a boyf day. So this is part one. I repel in. I, I tie in now. And in the last part of this video, I'm just going to shoot down into that little a smaller tree anyways and we're going to rig that whole tree out right down to the ground there ski rare skis and hit the highway back over to the big sucker climb up to the top let the top go and chunk her out friends thanks for watching have a great great day it's tuesday no matter what day it is you can beat up anything that comes your way because god don't give us nothing that we can't handle we're still here aren't we yeah we are living the now
Be kind, friends. See you on the next video. Your line a bit. So now, see, we're above the rigging point completely. See, just like this. And all the rigging happens underneath the tie-in. See, it's like that. And they can rig all day long and you're out. So now, taut line hitch. Here it is. Boom, off my steel carabiner. Or leave it. I'm gonna have to leave it. Okay. Okay. No problem. We'll just hammer it. Trot line hitch. So this should be a bowline. I don't tie a bowline. I never have. What? The cherry tree is kind of like a bumper for the fence anyway. Trot line hitch. Over. Two on the bottom. Keep your knots tight as you're going. See? One. Two. The tighter you keep it, the better. Now you come up over top. Just put your thumb in there. Go over your thumb. Create a little space. See? Just like that. So actually just wrap your thumb around it and go like that. And then go like this. One. Two. It even works on one, but and it works on three too. So there you go. That's the taut line hitch. Two and two. Now, before you do anything, you pull up, pull up on it, do a hip thrust, and give it one of those. Set it. Put some weight on it. Put your figure eight, and you're doing some tree work. Done. Hooked up. Set your knee, set your bum pads or whatever you want to call them, and you're off. Put some weight on it. Set it. Try it. Make sure it's not slipping on you. Give it a set. Pull it down. There you go. Undo your strap, one of them anyways. Just lie down excuse, my, excuse my chewing friends. Is that zoomed in? No. Silly Sorry, bugger. Big breakfast today. Billy Ray tied in up there. Gonna just zap this thing out of the way. Zap that out of the way and and up he goes. Get the crown out. Now oh, isn't that a fun job? The funnest job in the world. You get some footage, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh nice. Love it. Okay, so the rigging rope. I don't know whether it needs to <coughs> do something different. Oh, yeah. I'll run that. Maybe it doesn't. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to pull it out. Whatever, friend. On your, on your lanyard. 